Welcome to E4. Now, we've been hijacked by the Backstreet Boys. Uh, here they are, doing the hijacking. Now, they sold 73 million albums and had 12 top 40 hits, so they're well qualified to hijack us for the next hour. Basically, guys, here's how it goes. You get to pick every single track that we play for the next hour. All right. Are you up for it? We love that. Yeah, absolutely. Excellent. Now, you've taken three years out of the limelight. What kind of music were you listening to? Everything. Everything. Yep. Everything. I mean, we're not biased. Well, I mean, you you want to suggest? Suggest? A couple no, I'll tell you what, why don't we start with Howie? Why don't you pick your track of the day? Um, I think during our downtime, you know, let's, I kind of broadened my horizons and uh, started listening to a little bit more, um, not as much R&B music, started listening to a little bit more pop rock sound and stuff, and I really admired this group called Maroon 5, and the first song they had out was called This Love. I love this song. Such good lyrics. This is Maroon 5 and This Love. How we already did it. I don't know why I did it again. Tell Welcome you. back to Hijack By on E4. Today we are hijacked by the Backstreet Boys. Nick's yawning. I love the enthusiasm there. Um, and Kevin's a little bit snotty. Uh, now you've got um, AJ. Mm -hmm. You've got a choice to make this afternoon. What would you like to choose? <laughs> I would like to choose Weapon of Choice by Fat Boy Slim. Um, I think the video is absolutely genius. Spike Jones is, a, is an amazing director, and Christopher Walken is one of my all-time favorite actors. And just to see him in a video dancing and doing jazz, and just it's, it's an awesome video. And he looks so like, cool, doesn't he? Yeah, it? he's just too cool. Okay, here he is, Christopher Walken and Fat Boy Slim. It's too cool. This is weapon of choice, and it's AJ's choice. Backstreet Boys. Uh, moving on to Kevin, who is a little bit snotty. Do you have your hand up there, Nick? Oh, no, I was just like saying, we're hijacking you. Oh, right, okay. I thought you had a question. No. <laughs> All right, now, Kevin, uh, you actually starred in Chicago in the West End and on Broadway during your break. Has that influenced your kind of musical tastes? Um, <clears throat> I don't know that it's influenced my musical tastes. I, uh, I was listening to a lot of Dean Martin while I did that role because that was kind of my inspiration, his whole vibe for my character okay. um, during uh, during Chicago. But um, I've always listened to a lot of different styles of music. But uh, my pick today is um, a Foo Fighters video. I, I love how the Foo Fighters, like, they don't take themselves too seriously, especially when it comes to shooting videos. And this one was a really funny one. Uh, where they get to play a lot of characters and do a lot of crazy things. This is Learn to Fly by the Foo Fighters. Check it out. I don't even need to be here. Like, frankly, they are doing a sterling job. Nick's turn. Um, Wait, Nick, I've got a question I, first. Okay, okay. Um, they, they really take it over and hijack into it. I can't get a word in edgeways. Uh, now, we heard a rumor that Brian McFadden asked you to write a track for him. Is that true? No, um, we had talked about when I had come over here to, to tour with the boys, uh, possibly writing some music together. Yeah, he's a cool guy. I think I blew it all out of proportion and stuff in the press here and said that, like, he wanted, like, he was, like, asking me or begging me to record a track with him or something like that, but it was nothing like that, because I think me and AJ had met him at the Rome MTV Music Awards last year, last year so, um, and that's where we kind of had a relationship, but, you know, I just thought it'd be cool to, um, to write with some new artists and stuff like that. Okay. Because, you know, I wrote with Tommy, and now, you know, it's like, kind of like the... Broad my horizons when it comes to that. So I guess you probably want to pick a Westlife track then? Not really. Okay. What do you want to pick then? I want to show you guys what a real boy band is. This is the new kids on the block with the right stuff. Uh, now then, all good things must come to an end, boys. But um, we're going to leave you, or leave you, I should say, with your video, your new video, which is Just Want You To Know. Where's the idea for that one? Uh, Nick and I started discussing an idea about doing a throwback video to the 80s. I wrote a concept on the plane and uh, we shot it. And it's here it really is. It's a really cool video as well. You've got like, you're all dressed up, you've got wigs on, there's lots of honeys in it, there's lots of cool cars and lots of snogging yeah. as well. Yeah. Were there any, you know, like retakes on the snogging? Kevin were, was snogging a lot. He's the only one that snogged. I got that wrong. What? You have to keep retaking on the snogging? No, actually, I think we only did it twice. Twice. Because he said I didn't, he want, he's like, I really want you to suck her face off. <laughs> Just go like, okay. all out. <clears throat> I'm like, okay, I can do that. <laughs> yeah, I had a try and lick me. About it. And then Nick, Nick licked, licked the girl's, the girl's face. face. Yeah. But that wasn't called cool for us, Nick. No, yeah. Brian was in the, was in the, uh, was it, was it the Corvette? In the Corvette. Corvette doing donuts. 
I wasn't kissing the car. No. Um, now, do you want to introduce the video? <clears throat> this is probably one of the funnest videos we've ever shot. We had a blast. We hope you have a laugh. We hope you enjoy it. This is just what you know. Wait, 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 wait.